The fifth commandment states very simply, you shall not kill. And yet, there's a certain classification that needs to be added to that because obviously killing meat to feed one's family does not classify a violation of that commandment. Uh, swatting a fly or a flea that is particularly obnoxious uh, does not classify as the sin or a violation of thou shall not kill. More specifically understood is you shall not murder and particularly another human being made in God's image and likeness. Murder connotes a deliberate action, and as that commandment is applied to other actions, especially as we see in our society today, um, I would reduce it to three things that you could uh, use to evaluate whether an act of killing is that violation of you shall not kill or you shall not murder. And so three things need to be present. First of all, there needs to be a direct action with a direct intent and a direct result in killing another human being. Now, an example of something contrary would be defending yourself from someone who threatens you or your family. The direct action is in defending yourself. The direct intention is defending. But if the result is killing the attacker, was that a direct intention and a direct result? No. Killing in self-defense, is that a good thing? Well, certainly not. No act of killing another human being is good. But does that constitute the violation of the fifth commandment? Not necessarily, because the intention was to defend oneself or one's family, not to take another life. That just was an unfortunate uh, byproduct of the action. But when it comes to other actions, which unfortunately in some cases are very, very hot topics in today's society in dealing with the whole issue of killing another human being, uh, that, is how, that is perhaps a good way to evaluate the act of killing. Does it involve a direct action with the direct intention and the direct result of killing another human being? And looking at these various issues in the subsequent videos, we can evaluate not just how, but why the Catholic Church considers those to be violations of the Fifth Commandment.